Hey, welcome to Select Arcane! This project is a collaboration between myself and Sentimental Taco Photography. If you're interested in fantasy photography, I highly recommend that you check out his Instagram and website. I'll leave the links below so you can check them out. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've probably seen a few hints about this project. This collaboration has been in the works since April, and we have dedicated about every other weekend to it. A few years ago, Jennifer Buxton of the Braemere Saddlery blog posted an entry about her incredible trip to Holland, where she found tiny replicas of the bicycle seen around the country. I immediately fell in love and absolutely needed one, and vowed that if I ever went to Holland, I would get at least one or five. Then with the pandemic, all of my travel plans went on hold. All the trips I had planned to go abroad, cancelled. So instead I sat on my ideas and started this channel. Years later, I went back to Jennifer's blog and I saw the bikes again. And finally I just gave in and I bought them online from the Holland Tourist Shop. And surprisingly they weren't as expensive as I thought they would be. I'm going to post the link below where I bought them. As soon as I checked out online, I had an idea. A very big idea that I really needed help with. So that's where Eric comes in. He helps me build this entire project from the ground up. Like I said before, I am not great with power tools. I am much more of a visual artist. When the bikes arrived, I immediately got to dismantling them. Both of them. As you can see, there's two. This wasn't as easy as I thought it would be because I don't have tiny tools to unscrew the nuts and bolts. I had to use other things like tweezers or pliers or other small scale things. The crazy thing is that this is probably the best traditional scale prop I have ever seen that is not meant to be a traditional scale prop. It's completely functional and an incredible work of art. I feel really bad disassembling this thing. After stripping the bike to its bare bones and putting away the things that we don't need, it's time for the real assembly. This bike is going to have new moving parts and it's important to get everything to fit right. That means making sketches and making the schematics. Finding the right hardware was extremely tricky and that was probably the most difficult part of this entire journey. There was a lot of drilling. There was a lot of sanding. And there was also a lot of frustration when Eric had to make custom parts. Unlike my other videos, this is not a tutorial on how to make this trailer. It was so much of a learning curve that it would just be unfair to say, guys, you can do this. Because we could barely do it. There was a considerable amount of trial and error. And the way we built this specific trailer is definitely not how we will build our next one. So as much as I wanted to make it a tutorial for you guys, sorry, not this time. Maybe next time. But we did get to experiment with lots of different materials and sort of find out what worked and what didn't. This is also the reason why this video took so long to come out. It was just trial and error, trial and error. In spite of all of our setbacks and the fact that this isn't actually a tutorial video, I thought it would be still pretty cool to show you the guys the process. Believe it or not, this clip is actually after we had glued on the roof and glued on the walls because nothing worked. Like I said, trial and error. What I can tell you is not to use this stuff. It's super corrosive, ate through my gloves, and it hurt. It hurt a lot. It's supposed to be like epoxy sculpt, but specifically for metal. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. Pretty cool, right? You'd never guess what a pain it was to build this thing. I gave it a quick rinse to make sure that there was no more metal dust all over it, and took it out to prime in Duplicolor Sandable Primer. And then after I used a variety of Tamiya spray paints, specifically meant for models, but in hindsight, I definitely should have used something else. The paint took a very long time to dry, so I had to leave it for long periods of time. 
I went to go run some errands, got stuck in a tornado, and rushed back through the rain to rescue my poor trailer. After the tornado, it rained for a week straight, so the schedule got pushed a little bit. I taped the chrome parts of the bike and prepared for it paint. Just before this plan got put into action, Eric and I watched Onward from Pixar, and we were in love with the van, Guinevere. So we decided to imitate the motif and turn this into the Guinevere pony trailer. It was tricky to size the Pegasus to the trailer, but eventually I created a stencil, sprayed it, and filled it in with acrylic paints by hand. It was no easy task to do it on both sides. I made a few extra cute accessories, including decals, which was absolutely by far the most difficult thing I have ever done. After months of hard work, it was finally time to seal the trailer. I grabbed my dull coat, instead I sprayed the trailer with Tester's black enamel. I repainted the Pegasus entirely on one side and did the touch-ups to fix it. After a lot of trials and tribulations, we can finally call the Guinevere Pony Trailer done. This project took probably 48 hours if we combined all the hours together, but it did take five months with our schedules. This specific trailer will not be for sale because it's a prototype, and there are still a lot of issues with it. But be assured, we are planning on building more of these trailers. Much better, much cooler, perfect for your performance setups. This trailer was originally designed for a Morgan Kilburn Kipling, but also it comfortably fits a Kylie Parks Elfwin, and would definitely fit a Tadpole. It can also fit an Elfwin and a Kipling together. A huge thank you to my friend Erica, also known as Shirley Equine on Instagram. She let me borrow her painted Kipling and her Elfwin. Thanks, Erica! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't a tutorial like I thought it would be. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.